Hello and welcome to the first edition of Workday Rising Daily. I'm Patricia Harris, Senior Vice President of Revenue and Experience Marketing at Workday. I'll be co-hosting the Workday Rising Daily today and tomorrow with Rogerio. And hi everyone, I'm Rogerio Almeida, Group Vice President of Workday's Global Partner Organization. I am so happy to be here with you, Patricia. Rogerio, I am happy to be here with you, and we are wrapping up our first day at Workday Rising in San Francisco, and the buzz is absolutely incredible. So much energy all around, and we take on, really take on, how the future works. And you know what, Rogerio? What's that, Patricia? It is our biggest Workday Rising yet, with 50 15,000 attendees joining us in person and thousands more joining us digitally. Wow, and as you know, Patricia, we at work, they often refer to our customers as rock stars, right? And there's no place I'd rather be than with 15,000 rock stars here at the Moscone Center. It's the jam session of the year, and today and tomorrow, during the Workday Rising daily video broadcast, we'll share the highlights of what happened earlier in the day. Today, it was all about innovation and partnership. That is absolutely right, it sure was. But before we get to that, let's share a quick clip from our opening keynote last night. You know, Rogério, this is the first Workday Rising for Carl Eschenbach as our co-CEO. Check out this special moment between Carl and our co-founder, co-CEO and chair, Anil Bushri. So a lot in store for you today and this week. Uh, you'll see more of me tomorrow uh, as we work side by side to help you adapt, transform, and lead the future of work. So at this point, I want to welcome my good friend, our co-CEO, Carl Eschenbach. So thrilled to work with him. Uh, Carl's been on the board now for five years. I've been recruiting him to be uh, co-CEO and, and then ultimately CEO for four of those five years. He finally, he finally relented and, and gave in and, and he's been with us now since December. So thrilled to work with him. He's one of the great leaders in our industry and I'll be handing over the reins of uh, the CEO job to him in, in February. Uh, and he is really one of the best leaders and he's just a great human being. So welcome my good friend, Carl Eschenbach. So listen, Daniel, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity to be here with you. We have an amazing partnership. And thank you for the trust you've given me. You and Dave started this company 18 years ago, a powerful company, one that was built on trust and values. And I ask that you trust me and you value me as we go forward in our journey together. And he's not going to go far because we're not going to let him off the hook and that powerful mind he has around technology and innovation. And Neil, thank you. I'm honored with my 18,000 workmates to carry this legacy forward. Thank you. That really was a special moment, Patricia. And yes, we announced last year that Carl will assume the sole CEO responsibilities and Anil will assume a full-time role as executive chair and remain, of course, as chair of the board of directors. That's effective in February. That's right. So let's shift forward to today and our innovation keynote and how we're innovating with Workday AI. Our almost decade of experience and approach with AI and ML makes us unique in the world of enterprise software. Now we see enormous opportunities for our customers with generative AI. Our co-president, Cheyenne Chakraborty, took the stage this morning to tell us more, including how Workday's approach to generative AI is built on trust. At its core, generative AI relies on a technology called large language models. And like all of AI, it uses massive amounts of data, and we're talking about truly massive amounts of data, in combination with massive amounts of computing to determine patterns and then predict what's going to come next based on those patterns. What's remarkable is that when we do this, at that scale, these predictions can get very, very good. And the power of these giant models has produced unexpected results, including an uncanny ability to produce content, documents, text, music, the ability to summarize content, the ability to have a conversation that can feel very natural unlike previous AI-powered assistants of even last year. And that makes this a fundamental shift in technology. 
This is truly a moment that we'll remember with a before and an after. Absolutely fascinating. And now let's take a look at some examples of how our customers will benefit from generative AI. We can see it now on the stage and throughout this week. Let's take job descriptions to start. Although I love hiring, truthfully, I hate writing job descriptions. They take a long time, and they're rightfully so heavily scrutinized. Workday AI can help. Remember that unrivaled data set we talked about? Generative AI leverages the job, location, and skills data within Workday to produce a job description in seconds. And once you get that draft, you can quickly shorten the copy, add more detail, or create a new draft altogether with the click of a button. And because AI is built right into the Workday platform, it doesn't stop at job descriptions. You can leverage it to create all different types of content in Workday. What we're going to show you now, we're going to simplify your entire way you manage contracts inside Workday. First, the system alerts you to a discrepancy between the internal transaction and the actual contract. What's happening is AI has consumed a bunch of internal and external revenue data, as well as the contract data, as well as accounting policy documents. So what happens is you will see exactly where the issues are in a side-by-side -side format. Now, Workday AI will then recommend a resolution, which you can either accept or decline, because you're in control. And sometimes that resolution requires a complex set of steps. It might be approvals or additional notifications or transactions. But AI will kick off the workflow, and boom, the discrepancy is resolved. That was absolutely mind-blowing. And then after all that, Anil and Carl revealed some very exciting news, the new Workday AI Marketplace. Let's hear more. For the last hour, you've heard us talk about our differentiated approach with Workday AI and how it's driving so much of the, our innovation for you. There's a lot of AI hype right now, but it is a fundamental technology that's really going to change the way we all work together. And if leveraged co correctly, has the power to create an incredible competitive advantage for you and your organization. We want to be your trusted partner on this journey. While Workday is already delivering on the promise of AI today, so are many of our other cloud and enterprise giants, uh, along with a growing number of emerging AI leaders or startups. You know, we got the partnerships with uh, Google and Amazon and Salesforce. So the question to Cheyenne is, we're doing all this stuff. How do we harness what everyone else is doing? I thought you'd never ask. Thanks to the capabilities of our technology platform and our fantastic partners, I'm excited to announce for all of you today the Workday AI Marketplace. It's a first of its kind enterprise offering. And <laughs> I would announce it earlier if I thought, oh, wow. Um, that would enable all of our customers to tap in to the AI ecosystem of applications to accelerate innovation and value, and to ensure that our new AI marketplace aligns with our approach to responsible and trustworthy AI, each partner will be hand-selected and will go through a rigorous certification process. The marketplace will utilize Workday Extend and AI Gateway. It's going to allow our partners to tap into the benefits of the AI capabilities and models from Workday and from other third parties. As of today, we have 15 early adopter partners who are going through the certification process with us. And that's just the beginning. Those As, must be the partners. <laughs> <laughs> As we expand the Work to AI marketplace, you'll see everything from tailored solutions delivered by our SI partners to Workday related capabilities and third party products to native AI powered Workday Extend applications. There's so much excitement going on in the world of AI right now, especially generative AI, and we want you to get access to all of that while still being able to do so in a safe, trustworthy, and reliable manner. So you can tell them when this is all available? Well, of course. <laughs> Look, we're looking to officially launch the Work to AI Marketplace in Q2 of 2024. Is that the best we can do? <laughs> okay. Or sooner. <laughs> you two are sooner. <laughs> Cheyenne and his team are amazing. This is a, it's a great moment for Workday. Uh, we're not just embracing AI for all of you, but we're also enabling partners, uh, and we'll, we'll make sure that they're certified, that they follow our responsible AI policy. And I think it's a, it's a way just to 
provide more innovation to you. For more information, uh, you can check out our website, workday.com AI Marketplace. Thank you for joining us today. We hope it was a great morning. Uh, we know the future is bright, and we can't wait to work with you to shape it all together. A lot more in store for you, and, and have a great rising. Thank you. Thank you. Workday AI Marketplace was just one of our reveals at Workday Rising today. There was so much more. We announced new innovations with Workday Extend, our new Manager Insights Hub, and new offerings in Workday Adaptive Planning. Now, interested in learning more, head to the Workday blog where we've captured conversations on film here at Workday Rising on what these developments mean for our customers and partners theblog.workday.com. Well, thank you again to everyone who joined us for a truly inspiring day, whether here at the Moscone Center or through our digital experience. Tomorrow, the show opens with our Changemaker keynote at 8.30 a.m. Workday co-CEO Carl Eschenbach will start things off, and later, he'll be joined by executives from customer organizations who are driving big changes in their industries and we'll share some highlights from those conversations and more later in the day in our second edition of Workday Rising Daily. Looking forward to joining you here again, Patricia. Good night, everyone, and we will see you then. Thank you so much.